Hello and welcome to the session. This is Professor Farhad. In this session, we're going to be looking at refundable versus non-refundable credits. In, in other words, we're going to be looking, the general topic is credits. That's the general topics. This topic is covered in the income tax course, the CPA exam regulation section, as well as the enrolled agent exam. As always, I would like to remind my viewers, that's you, to connect with me on a professional level. Facebook, if you have a Facebook account, like my Facebook page, and you could connect to my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, you want to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. This is where I house all my lectures, so you will have access to all of them. If there's any new lectures, you will be aware of. Please like my lectures if you do like them, share them with, other and, with others, and put them in playlists. I, I do have a Twitter account and a website. On the website, you can find all my lectures organized by course and topic. This recording is brought to you by Jaeger CPA Review. If you like this recording, you'll find hundreds of hours of video lectures if you're a CPA or an accounting student, as well as thousands of multiple choice questions with detailed solution, simulations, which are exercises and problems, textbook, which is a physical textbook, as well as an e-textbook, audio lectures for retention purposes, electronic flashcards, plus other. If you happen to use Jaeger, please use P PMF code you will get 10% off of the best valued course. You will benefit yourself and benefit this channel. So let's talk about credits. So what are credits? Well, it's important to kind of visualize where do credits fit on a tax return. So I'm just going to go go over this tax return. Let's assume we have an AGI for 80000 And we happen to have taxes. I'm just making this number up. On line 44, taxes of uh, 6,500, okay? And no alternative minimum tax, no access advances, so taxes 6,500. Now, this is the our ta taxes right now. And after, after we compute the taxes, we can compute our credits, such as the foreign tax credit, child credit for child and dependent care credit, education credit, retirement savings, child tax credit, so on and so forth. So what the credits do, so if we have a $500 credit, if we happen to have a $500 credit, this $500 credit, it's going to reduce our taxes to 6000 If we have another $600 credit, that's going to reduce our taxes from 6000 to 5400 Simply put, the credit reduces your taxes dollar for dollar. So the credit, they're not like a deduction. The credit reduces your tax bill dollar for a dollar. So that's the first thing I want to let you know about uh, tax credit. Now, tax credit versus tax deduction. So as I told you, the tax credit give you, gives you a dollar credit against your against each dollar in taxes you have but the tax deduction it depends on your marginal tax rate so the tax benefit received from a tax deduction depends on your marginal tax rate okay so it's not going to be the same for everyone okay and the higher your marginal tax rate the better is the benefit for the tax deduction okay so tax benefit received from a tax credit is not affected by the taxpayer mar marginal tax rate so the tax credit if you get a dollar tax credit, I get a dollar tax credit. It doesn't matter what, what my tax rate is, what's my marginal tax rate, and what's your marginal tax rate. However, if I gave you a dollar in tax deduction, it's not the same. And let's show you an example where how it works. Congress wants to encourage a certain type of expenditure. One way to accomplish this objective is to allow a 25% credit for such expenditure. So if it's uh, another way to allow an it another way is to al allow an itemized deduction for the expenditure. Okay, let's assume the expenditure is a thousand dollar. If the expenditure is a thousand dollar, and you'll get twenty five percent tax credit, you'll get two hundred and fifty dollars. On the other hand, if they allow this one thousand dollar as a deduction rather than a credit, well, here's the situation: Abby tax rate is fifteen percent. Bill's tax rate is 35%, and they both itemize. Carmen does not itemize. Carmen does not have enough itemization. So here's what's going to happen. The tax benefit under the credit, it's going to be 250 250 250 for all three individuals. If Congress said this, uh, this, this deduction, th this uh, to encourage you, we're going to make it an itemized deduction, the $1,000 will be an itemized deduction. Well, guess what? For Abby... Abby's tax marginal tax rate is 
and he does he does uh, itemize therefore the savings from that is 150 bill bill's tax rate is 35 percent he's in the high marginal tax rate his savings will be 350 and carmen doesn't get any savings because carmen don't itemize so as you can see tax credit provide benefit on a more equitable basis than the tax deduction because the tax deduction the higher is your tax marginal tax rate the higher is your savings look at, at bill because he's in the 35 percent tax bracket he prefer a tax deduction because it's going to reduce his taxable income because his taxable income is high okay refundable versus non-refundable credit so that's another thing we want to know about credits some are refundable and some are not and we're going to know few are refundable so we're going to see a list of them but you need to understand what does refundable mean refundable credit means paid even if the tax liability is less than the amount of the credit let, let me just give you a quick example let's assume you owe you happen to owe on your taxes a thousand dollar that's your tax bill after you computed all your taxes your tax your tax is a thousand dollar now you came up with a credit and the credit is refundable and the credit is refundable for 1200 so you have a refundable credit of 1200 what's going to happen this 1200 it's going to make your tax go down to zero and it's going to leave you 200 credit guess what the irs will send you a check for that 200 dollar now let's assume you have a tax bill of a thousand then you have a non-refundable tax credit of 1200 this is non-refundable it, since it's non-refundable you don't get anything you don't pay any taxes but you don't get the 200 dollar back so the non-refundable can only be used to offset your tax liability your tax liability is thousand it's non-refundable you don't get anything your tax liability is a thousand the credit is refundable and you have 1200 of them it's going to reduce your taxes to zero and the irs will cut you a check for 200 dollars so if the credit exceeds the tax liability the excess is lost okay some exceptions some non-refundable credit have have carry over provision now we'll talk about those once we get to them few of them okay elijah tax liability before the credit is a thousand dollar he qualifies for two tax credit a a 400 a 400 credit it's an unrefundable and an 800 credit be refundable so we have one refundable one non-refundable the order in which the credit are applied affect elijah's tax refund so let's assume if the refundable credit is applied first so we'll take a thousand minus the refundable what we're left is 200 now the non-refundable we can only take 200 although we have 400 of non-refundable but there's nothing we can do because we, we have to apply the refundable first if the non-refundable credit is applied first here's what's going to happen we have pre-credit liability pre-credit pre tax liability of a thousand we have to apply the 400 first then if it's non-refundable what's left is i'm sorry the remaining tax to a 600 then we apply the b b is refundable therefore the 800 dollar refundable credit would reduce the taxes to zero and will give us a refund of 200 dollars here's a list of refundable and non-refundable credit um, what's considered refundable credit i would not consider this as refundable credit but basically tax taxes withheld on wages so the money that's taken from your w-2 is basically refundable credit i prefer to think of it as tax withholding earned income credit is a refundable credit the affordable care act premium tax credit is a refundable credit now also we have part of the child tax credit refundable and part of the educational credit refundable we're going to be talking about these credits separately but this is just an overview about refundable and non-refundable credit so this is an introduction to this chapter we're going to be looking at various type of credits we're going to start with business credits go over eight or nine of them then we're going to move into the personal credit and we're going to go over you know another seven or eight different credits if you have any questions any comments about this recording email me if you're studying for your cpa exam study hard if you happen to visit my website for additional lectures please consider donating good luck